Okay guys, today I'm gonna to be installing a snorkel. Uh, this happens to be a Red Rock 4x4 snorkel. Um, all the snorkels that, that you would have to, you're gonna to have to cut a little bit on the hood. Um, they pretty much mount the same way, but the instructions, this video is about the instructions. Uh, I don't know if the other ones are like this, but they uh, want you to, they have a template and they tell you to measure back from the, the hinge on the um, hood back a certain amount and then cut a hole. Well, you know, I, I, most guys are gonna probably be a little hesitant to just do it like that, and some guys do and they ruin the hood. Um, what I what I'm did what I did it's, it's not installed yet, but I dry fitted everything. All right, you dry fit everything first. You mount it up as if it's it's ready to go. You see, this one. I'll put the lights on. It has a bracket that mounts the. Uh, the side pillar over here you got your two screws here and two screws there it's got another bracket from here to the um, to the snorkel and the same thing over here and the bolt patterns are different these are on an angle and these are straight the reason why is because this one this uh, uh, bracket is shorter so it doesn't hit the fender but they make it easy uh, this type of brand but anyway this one goes right into it goes right into your air box. See, that's it right there. It pretty much fits really nice, nice and tight. And um, the yeah, only part is I don't like the way they tell you how to. You, you may have show you over here. And they want you to use this template. Okay, you put it back. I think it's 25 millimeters from the hinge, and you cut your hole. Well, I'm not doing it that way, and I don't recommend you doing it that way. This is, after you cut the hole, all right, there's gonna be a, a trim piece that goes here. You see this trim piece? So what I'm doing is making believe it's already, the hood is already closed with the trim piece, right? And you measure because, you know, you, you, it could be like this, it could be out th this way the hood, it won't, but this way you measure this as if the whole hood is gonna close, if this was on the hood, right? You make sure you have even space there and even space over there. You put it right in the middle and then you put a little mark. You see I put a little mark right there, put a mark there and a mark over there, all right? So now, once you close the hood, you can transfer that mark to this, wherever it's got to go. And what you do is you trim on the inside. Now, why that's important, because a lot of guys, all right, what they're doing, well, they're following the instructions. You can't blame them, but they're wrong. The instructions are wrong. They'll cut out the hole, right, and then it's a little too big. And then when they try to put the pop rivets in it, some, some grab, some don't. So what you do is basically you trim, you mark around, this right here, the outside edge, and you cut over the line, just right, leave the line, in other words, don't go inside, leave the line. So when you when you uh, cut, you're gonna have a nice plenty of meat to get your rivets in there, and everything's gonna be perfectly aligned on the hood. I'll show you uh, the next step in this procedure. Okay, and what I did is then I took my mark before when I had when I had the snorkel in, in, uh, installed, and this mark over here, Okay, then I line this up. The, this flat part right here has to be on the, has to be flush with the hood bottom. And the same thing over there, right? Then you draw, well, once you get that, then you draw an inside mark, an inside over here. Okay, then you take it away. And now, basically from the original mark, you have to go in three quarter on one side, and over here, and you can see the mark I made over here. And then you go in three quarter over here. And then what you do, then you can use the template they gave you. This template, and you have to pay attention to the template. See, it's rounded here, and over here it's a little bit more on an angle. You see, it's not, yeah, it's like that on, on purpose. This goes here, and then you align it up from there and there. All right, you, you make sure it's nice and tight, and you go around and you trace it, 
and the top line is going to be a cut line. And what you do is you cut it and leave, and don't leave the line. Don't go over, go under, under. Actually leave the line. And you cut it all the way around. And how you're gonna cut it depends on what you got. I'm gonna use a cutoff wheel. Um, I have a Dremel you can use, oh, where am I going? Well, you can use here, I'm gonna show you what I got. I got the more, I got the, I can use this with a metal blade. But the cutoff wheel I like to use because it's um it doesn't vibrate as much, it just cuts through like butter. And I'm gonna stop cutting it and I'll show you what it looks like. I made my cut. Still showed a little bit of the line, just a little bit. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut through both. There's another piece here. So what I did, I did the cut wheel and then I did a, my um my uh my sawzall and I cut the rest of it all the way out. Now the bottom piece over here, what I did, I made a little relief cut over here, like a little cut here, and over here a little cut so so I can bend it up. Because if you look at it straight over there, it was hanging down. So instead of cutting even more of it, I just made a little slice there, a little slice there, and I hit this little piece up. So now it's pretty much out of the way. Sand it down a little bit, you know, take all the burrs off of the file and paint it take the tape off, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the Pop River gun. Here it is all installed. Um, quick note, down here where the um, snorkel goes into the factory air box, it's good to um, silicone it all the, way, all the way around on the inside and the outside. Uh, let it dry overnight, do not use the vehicle when you do that so it doesn't you know, suck anything into the engine, wait till the silicone is dry. And um, what I did over here, I put a little, because I noticed when I closed the hood, it may vibrate a little bit. So I put like a little little sponge pad, you know, the sticky pads there, there and there, over here on the hood. And I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like closed. And that's how it looks like when it's installed. Uh, another quick tip, after you, when you put the bezel on, before you pop rivet it, what you do is close the hood, lock your latches, make sure it's all even, bolt this up, make sure it's nice and tight. And then what you do is you start because you wanna have a nice even gap. You see how it's nice and even along the whole thing. And the best way to do that is to, like say this one's up a little bit because if I were to put it flush like they said, it would be hitting. So, you know, you just gotta adjust it a little bit. It's not 100% perfect but you could make it pretty pretty much perfect. So what I did, I just raised it a little bit, put a pop rivet here, and then I adjusted it until the way I liked it, then I put one here, made sure it was nice and even, then I put the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna paint them so you don't see them black. But it's uh, pretty solid, it doesn't move. And up here, um, I think I have a, a little bit of concern when there's a downpour, we'll be sucking water in. They do have a pre-filter you can put here. Um, or you know what I'm gonna do right now, if it does rain, just loosen the clamp, turn it backwards, you know. And then, oh, with dusty, dusty conditions, they also have like a little filter you put up, it looks like a sock. You put it on here, you know. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that right now. So right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. All right. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, any questions, leave the comments below. Motor Car Nut, Motor Car Nut. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Take care.